Welcome to this tutorial on PowerShell scripts. Today, we'll explore how to work with .ps1 files. These are the foundation of PowerShell scripting and will help you automate tasks, save time, and become more efficient with Windows administration. By the end of this video, you'll understand what these files are, how to create them, and how to run them safely on your system. A .ps1 file is a PowerShell script file. Think of it as a text document that contains a series of PowerShell commands. Instead of typing commands one by one into the PowerShell console, you write them all down in a .ps1 file, and PowerShell executes them sequentially from top to bottom. The .ps1 extension tells Windows that this file contains PowerShell script code. There are four main reasons to use script files. First, they are reusable and repeatable. You can run the same script multiple times without retyping commands. Second, they let you save complex commands that would be difficult to remember. Third, you can easily share scripts with team members, making collaboration simple. Finally, they allow you to automate routine tasks, saving you hours of manual work every week. Creating your first script is incredibly simple. You can use any text editor, even the basic notepad that comes with Windows. Just open Notepad and type the command Notepad followed by your desired file name with the .ps1 extension, for example, myscript.ps1. This creates a new file where you can write your PowerShell commands. You can also use more advanced editors like Visual Studio Code or PowerShell ISE for a better experience. Let's look at a simple script example. At the top, we have a comment that starts with a hash symbol. Comments help explain what your script does, Below that, we have three commands. Write dash host displays a message to the screen, in this case, hello comma PowerShell exclamation mark. Get dash date shows the current date and time. And get dash location displays your current directory path. When you run this script, all three commands execute in order. There are two main ways to run a script file. The first method uses the full path. Type the complete path to your script, like c colon backslash scripts backslash myscript.ps1. The second method uses a relative path, which is shorter. First, navigate to the folder containing your script using the set dash location command. Then type dot backslash followed by your script name, like dot backslash myscript.ps1. The dot backslash tells PowerShell to look in the current directory. Before you can run scripts, you need to understand execution policy. By default, Windows blocks PowerShell scripts from running as a security measure to prevent malicious code. To allow scripts to run, you need to change the execution policy. Use the set dash execution policy command with the dash execution policy parameter set to remote signed. This allows locally created scripts to run while still requiring downloaded scripts to be signed by a trusted publisher. You may need to run PowerShell as administrator to change this setting. Let's wrap up with four best practices for working with PowerShell scripts. First, always add comments to explain your code. This helps you and others understand what the script does months later. Second, use descriptive file names that clearly indicate the script's purpose. Third, always test scripts in a safe environment before running them on important systems. Finally, store your scripts in version control systems like Git. This lets you track changes, revert mistakes, and collaborate with others effectively. Following these practices will make you a better scripter. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit CodeLucky.com for more such useful content.